Okay, guys, we were just looking at this question here, and I was wondering why I have two different VAs. And with Open Delta Transformer, the VA of the transformer will always be more than the VA of the load. And that's just the way it is. And sometimes students will say, well, why is that? Where's that other, you know, over, you know, almost two and a half KVA is seemingly disappearing. Well, it's not disappearing, guys. What's happening here is because every three phase load causes, even if it is, you know, in phase, causes the line voltage and the line current to be out of phase by root three. And then I said, as it goes through the transformer, it'll get corrected back to being in phase and being in phase and then out of phase in the lines over here. Well, the exception to that is the open delta transformer. It cannot correct the out of phase. In other words, if the voltage and the current are out of phase here, they're going to be out of phase in the winding because the, you know, it's missing that phase, that coil there that's going to help correct it. And so since the current and the voltage are out of phase in these windings, this transformer is running with a, you know, poor power factor. And if I actually took a look at it, the way it would work is, first of all, you know, we calculate the VA of the load here, guys. That's the KVA of the load right there. But it's also the power of the load, true power, because look, this is a resistive load, which means that this whole load is kilowatts, right? There's no inductor in there. It's all kilowatts. So it would be fair to say, guys, that uh, the power of that load is 15,497 watts, okay, because it's a resistive load. And the VA for this transformer, guys, is 17894 volt amps okay and this is 30 degrees all right guys and that's the 30 degrees that the voltage and the current are out of phase in this transformer here and so this 17894 VA transformer is running this you know, 15,497 watt load at a, you know, power factor of whatever 30 degrees is, okay, 0.866, all right, guys? And if you don't believe me, let's do that here. Let's see what the power factor of that transformer is running at. The power factor, it should be the cosine of the angle, okay? And so if I hit, you know, cos 30, you know, it's 0 0.866, 0 0.866, okay guys? And that's right here, okay? And uh, let's just see if all this works out because the power in the circuit should be the VA times the power factor, okay? And so the VA we said was 17,894 and the power factor we said was 0.866. And if I do that math, guys, let's do it. 17,894 times 0.866. Boom. 1, 5, 4, 9, 6 watts. Okay, guys? And uh, yeah, they're the same. Okay, guys? Now, at this point, somebody will say to me, listen, you know, why do we even bother with open delta well let's think about it for a second here i'm going to get a piece of scrap paper here let's see if we can use the back of this one here for a second let's think about what's going on here we've got an open delta transformer we decided that it is 17894 va if it's 17894 va then each one of these will be half that, right? So basically the VA of one of these windings, let's calculate it. VA of, you know, one winding of the transformer, okay guys, is going to be, you know, this voltage, 287.5 times this current, 31.12. It's E phase times I phase. So let's calculate that, should be exactly you know, half of 17, okay, because we multiplied, multiplied it by two there. So 
87.5 times 31.12 equals 8947VA, you know, each, right? The two transformers that make up the open delta transformer. So this is open delta. Well, imagine it was closed delta. Okay. Then we know with closed delta, it would look like this, right? Let's just show you here. Right, there. that'd be the load. The line current would be the same, 31.12 amps, right? The line voltage would be the same. E line going to the load. 287.5 volts, right? And uh, this would be I line, right? And uh, we could calculate I phase right here. I phase, it would be 31.12 divided by root three, right? If I had a line voltage of 31, then it would get split. So let's just calculate that real quick here. 31.12 divided by root three. It'd be 1790.97 amps. And that means one winding of three, guys, would be E phase times I phase. So it would be E phase, which is 287. I know it says line there, but it's also phase. Times I phase, 17.97. That's one of three. Okay, so let's do that. 287.5 times 17.97 equals, they are 5.166, you know, not point, comma, uh, VA each. Okay, and so basically, guys, the open delta would look like this. This would be my open delta transformer. Okay, and they would be 8947VA each, right? And here's my closed delta, guys. It would be three of them, right? Oh. And they would be 5166VA each. And so the reason why open delta exists, guys, basically, is uh, what's cheaper, two 9kVA transformers or three 5kVA transformers, essentially. Okay, because the guy who's doing this installation, you know, it, the, the load doesn't care. Okay, it doesn't, this load here, it doesn't care if it's connected to open delta or closed delta. All it knows is it's getting 287.5 volts and it's drawing 31.12 amps. It's going to do that whether it's open delta or closed delta. It doesn't make any difference and it doesn't know. So the only difference between open delta and closed delta is open delta is two transformers that are big and closed delta is three transformers that are small. And so you're literally going to call the supplier and say, hey, quote me two 9kVA transformers, single phase transformers, so I can connect my open delta transformer, and quote me two, three, you know, 5166 VA transformers, three of them, so I can feed my load, three phase load, okay? And it's going to come down to economics. Is two of these cheaper than three of these, or are three of these cheaper than two of those? And if this is cheaper, you know, you might as well build it open delta. And if this is cheaper, you might as well build it closed delta. Other than that, they're all going to be exact. They're going to work exactly the same way, or at least feed the load exactly the same way, guys. And I know this is a lot, and I'm going fast, okay? But the reason open delta exists is because usually it's cheaper, okay, guys? And it'll work fine either way. You'll have to buy two big transformers or you know three small transformers, and uh, you know whatever one you want to build or the you know whichever the engineer decides to use 
due to cost okay. is the one you're going to install, basically. All right, guys? Now, I've told you a lot of stuff, okay? So what do you really need to know about Open Delta Transformer? Well, you need to know that on an Open Delta, E line is equal to E phase. Okay. You need to know that an open delta I line is equal to I phase. That's different, okay, because closed delta I line would be I phase times root 3. You need to know that the VA gets calculated E phase times I phase times 2. Okay, guys, those three formulas. We're going to do another one. Come back for the next video and we'll take one up. And I promise not to talk so much and we'll just do it. Okay, guys, see you soon.